One of the most convenient ways to connect and communicate with a group that you frequently collaborate with, such as a group of colleagues or possibly your class parent community, is by creating a group in Outlook. Let's take a closer look at how you can set up a group in Outlook on the web. So again, here I am in Outlook on the web in a Google Chrome browser tab. And I'm going to come to this far left panel. Now I have my navigation for Outlook down here along the bottom. Little side note, did you know that if you click this pancake stack here, the three lines next to new message, you can actually change that so that your navigation for email and calendar and people, etc., is actually along the far left. I'm going to just switch that back. Now, speaking of people, I want to click on this little people icon to launch Outlook People. Inside Outlook People, this is where we are going to create our group. To create a brand new group, I'm simply going to come up to the top and where it says new contact, I'm actually going to click on the drop down. And right here at the bottom, I see new group. Let's go ahead and click it. Now I want to give my group a specific name. So this is going to be a group of parents for my homeroom for this school year. So let's give this a specific title. Notice that the title or the group name also forms the first half of the email address. So in this case, the email address for my group will be parents of homeroom to be at ecsd.net. Now below, I can provide a brief description to explain the purpose of the group. And below description, I see settings. Now what I want to make sure of, because this is going to be a group for parents so that I can easily communicate um, class newsletters, information about upcoming events. I am going to make sure that the privacy is set to private. Only approved members can see what's inside. If I click the drop down, notice that you could set it to a public group so that anyone in your organization or anyone in ECSD could see what's inside. But again, I want this to be private. Notice the checkbox. Members will receive all group conversations and events in their inboxes. So if they're using Outlook and you're using Outlook, if someone sends a message to the group or I send a message to the group, all members will automatically get that message in their inbox. Notice that we can uncheck this and we can uncheck this um, in the settings at any time. If I click drop down for more settings, I can also designate language for the group. Let's go ahead and click create. Now I can start adding members to my group. Because this is a group for the parents of students in my homeroom, the parents' emails are most likely not going to be ECSD emails. So parents are going to be people from outside the organization or guests. Notice what it says about guests in the left panel. Guests will get an email message sent to their group in their inbox and they can collaborate on files in the group. Now I could start adding members. I'm going to add my husband with his Gmail account, but I can also add members at a later time. I'll show you how to do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and click add to continue and this group has been created. Let's go back to email. All right, so when I return to my email, if I scroll down to the bottom in that far left navigation and find the groups heading, notice the first group under groups is that new group that I've created for the parents of homeroom 2B. And there's a welcome email that outlines the features of your group. All right, let's take a quick tour of our group and see some of these features in action. So the first thing I want to show you is sending an email to your group. The first thing you're going to want to do is find your group in your group's list in the far left panel of Outlook. Instead of clicking new message, where it says the name of your group, notice below the send email tab. Click send email. 
This will create a new mail message, but notice that it will automatically be addressed to that group email, which includes the emails of all the members of your group. So everyone in the group will receive this message. Notice that you can add a subject and then you can go ahead and type the message to your parents. Notice that you can also attach files and there's another files section that I'll show you in just a moment. Let's discard this particular message. Let's come back up here to the information about our group. Notice this little files icon. If I click it, this is going to take me to the group files. So if there are any email attachments shared by myself, the owner of the group, or by members of the group, they will be stored here in email attachments. Notice that there's also a group calendar where I can schedule events for the group. Finally, let's talk about adding more members to this group. I can actually access the details and settings pop-up window for this group by simply coming up to the top where it says the name of the group and clicking on where it says two members. This is gonna take me right into the members tab of the details of this group. And here I can simply come over to the far right and click add members. And I can simply start typing the name of the individual if they're part of our ECSD global address list or I can type in their full email address. Keep in mind, I can always remove a member from the group by coming here to the settings inside the members tab, finding the individual I wish to remove, and simply clicking on the X to remove them from the group and selecting yes to confirm. This helps you keep your group updated and organized at all times. Let's close the settings uh, window. And I just wanna point out that if I go back to my inbox, I can see emails from the group coming into my inbox because I have that feature turned on. Remember that I can always go to my group settings and turn that feature off. If I turn that feature off, I would actually have to scroll down to my groups and view my group to keep track of any emails coming into the group. And again, to no longer receive emails for the group in your inbox as well as your group, just simply go to your settings and you can manage your group email.